accessory foot kit thing. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Big Teddy 15 piece snap-on presser foot kit. This comes with a nice little instruction manual, if you can see that. It shows you which foot everyone is. And then it actually goes through and tells you what they do too. So it's gonna take some time to get used to, but we'll, we'll try out every foot. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see tutorials on each foot. But if you don't have a low shank machine, that's okay because it comes with a low shank adapter. Some of these I already have and you probably do too, like the button foot. So the one that's gonna hold your button down when you're sewing, I already have that. You also probably already have the zipper foot, pretty basic, came with my machine anyway. It comes with an all-purpose foot, which your machine definitely would have come with. And it also comes with a buttonhole foot, and I've done a video on buttonholing before. This is a um, different style than the one I have. I don't exactly know how it's going to work. I'll have to try it out. Maybe I'll like it better than the one I have already. So those are the ones that your machine might have come with. The rest of these are pretty unique, and we're going to go over them because so you know what you're getting in the Big Teddy kit. This one here, they call it the satin stitch foot, and you, it's plastic, but you can see on the back it has these metal skis, I'm gonna call them. So I'm guessing that is so they can ride on the smooth, silky fabric. Then we have a quilting or straight stitch, so I guess this can be used for either one. Hammer or roll hem foot. I'm pretty excited about this one. It'll be probably one of the first ones I try, because, like, come on guys. Who likes hemming? Cording foot. You can see it has some little pieces there to hold cording, I'm guessing. I don't know. I've never done it. I'll try it out. Gathering foot. So this one's kind of cool. It'll help you to gather and make ruffles. I'm actually excited to try this one as well. This is the whole reason I bought the kit. This is a walking foot. And I sew a lot of knits, so this is what I'm going to be using for that and again I'm excited about this one it'll be the first one I try for sure because it basically just walks along the fabric so that it doesn't get bunched up in your machine because knits can be have a tendency to do that. the overcast foot so this is for this would be like using an overcast stitch on your regular sewing machine if you don't have a serger on one piece of fabric or two to come on stitch them together. They call the patchwork foot. I think it's for smaller projects and possibly free quilting. The blind stitch foot and they say, I'm going to read from the book here, the function of this foot is to help guide the fabric when hanging, allowing the needle to pick a small amount of fabric for a perfect hem. With the help of the guide, this foot can also be used for top stitching, edge stitching, and pin tuck. Okay, so there's a little bit of a guide here which can be adjusted with this little set screw. Moves in and out as you do it. So that'll be good for hemming too. I might use this a lot more than I saw. Darning foot. And this is for embroidery, free motion, quilting, darning. Needle moves up and down, so does the foot. You can see it's like spring loaded or something here. So that's kind of unique. But there you have it. That's what's in the big Teddy 15 piece sewing machine accessory foot kit thing and you will probably have some of these feet if you decide to order this you might already have some but there's a lot in here that I don't have already let me know what am I missing what do I need to order tell my husband for me catch you next time <laughs>